You hate mowing the lawn? Actually, I don't. I kind of like mowing the lawn. But, but let me tell you this. The environment probably hates it more than you might hate it. Gas-powered lawn mowers are just as bad as gas-powered cars. Yes, they are. And electric mowers so far haven't really stepped up until now. Diana Olick. Diana Olick does everything here. She's on the real estate. <laughs> she's on the And she's on the clean beat. Uh, with us with a look now at a company empowering landscapers literally in her continuing series on climate startups. Hi, Di. Hi, Ty, and it's because real estate and climate are all connected. Now, gas-powered lawnmowers emit about 40 million metric tons of carbon a year. That's equal to 900,000 cars. But now a startup called Scythe is making commercial-scale electric mowers that not only cut the carbon, but can run on their own. We enable the landscaping industry to transition from gas to electric mowers by using autonomy to sort of sneak that technology in and eliminate the emissions with a different business model. It's kind of like a Roomba for a lawn. Scythe has built what it says is the first fully autonomous electric lawnmower that can run on its own for 8 to 11 hours at a time, depending on the grass length. If the person doesn't have to ride it the whole time, they can go off and do other work and take better care of the outdoor spaces, which ultimately will lower the cost of maintaining outdoor spaces and help us cultivate more green space, which cools our cities. Scythe doesn't sell the mowers to landscapers, but leases them so clients don't have to make a huge investment while the technology is still improving. The leasing model gives us the flexibility to measure it up against how we normally operate, to move it up and down, and to really work with it as we learn and develop the kind of the AI and the technology and, and work, work it into our operation. Scythe Robotics is backed by True Ventures, Inspired Capital, Zig Capital, and Lemnos. Total funding so far, $18.6 million. Now, so far, these are only commercial mowers for landscape companies, but you can imagine the potential here for the consumer market. Morrison also says the recently passed Inflation Reduction Act gives tax breaks that will benefit the growth of his startups. Ty? So it knows where it's been before. In other words, it can see where it has cut. It can absolutely see what it has cut, and it can see where it's going. And as you saw with the dog, it can be very careful. So if you see something in its path, or if it sees something in its path, it, it will stop. And it's also run off an iPad. So you can have the person who, you know, is the maintenance contractor there on the iPad kind of telling it where to go, or it can follow a model that's already preloaded onto the iPad. So it's not, it's not a... I guess it's not like powering or driving a drone. In other words, I don't have to sit there and steer it with a joystick. No. It, it, no. It knows. It knows. Diana, thank you. There it goes. <laughs>